So what kind of liability does Amtrak have in this deadly crash? Brian Claypool, defense attorney, he joins me here on the set. All right, it's a federally run organization. Can you sue the federal government? Well, you can sue Amtrak. The, the stronger your case is would be based on whether there was human error by, by the, uh, engineer. The, the engineer in this case. And what we're hearing now is if he's speeding 100 miles an hour and there's a causal connection between the high speed and the train wreck, then you can sue under a theory that's called vicarious liability. What that means is if, if the engineer was negligent in operating the train, then Amtrak would be liable for his negligence. So how does one go about making a claim? Because it's not just going to be for the seven people who have so far died in this, but for the 200 or so who are injured and maybe even people who didn't right. have serious injuries. Well, the problem here, Gretchen, too, is that you have a $200 million cap for a single uh, 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 train wreck that you could sue for. So let's say there's 200 victims here. There might be only a cap for a million dollars total per victim, and that really pat is patently unfair. Okay. So why is that? Why is there a cap? Because it's the federal government, and it, it involves taxpayer money. Taxpayers are going to be paying for this. But another issue you have to look at also, Gretchen, is was this the result of, for example, of the throttle application that failed? If it's a component part of the train, then the claimants might be able to also sue the manufacturer of that component part, and at that case, there wouldn't be a limit on what you could recover. Interesting. Uh, Amtrak says in its own press release how they have a pressing need for infrastructure improvements. Is that grounds to sue? Well, l l here's the first thing you have to answer in this, this tragic incident. You have to determine whether it's a result of human error, is it the result of the condition of the train, the failure of, a, of, for example, the throttle application, or is it something wrong with the train track itself? Once you determine that, then you can figure out who you're going after. For example, th th this is the, a very uh, highly traveled corridor, the, the busiest in the country for yep. Amtrak. If there is a problem with the track, you gotta look at who owns the track, too. If it's owned by a private freight line like Union Pacific or a company called CSX, then they don't have an incentive under the current law to maintain that track because of an indemnity agreement that uh, Amtrak so has with them. The whole legal situation is so complicated. We're going to get more details. There's a press conference coming up just moments from now. Brian, thank you.